What's up, YouTube? It's your boy OD from Mad Trucks out here working on the beast again. I actually was not going to make a video on this because I wanted to get it done, but I started thinking that this might be useful to all my 6 0 buddies out there who got extremely lifted trucks. What I'm doing is I am doing a carrier bearing drop from PMF. And I'm running, um, like uh, some of you may know, a 12 inch lift on a 2005 6 0 with 40s and I have um, I do have pretty big blocks in the back I'll show you in a second and I have traction bars and when I put those on I was thinking that it should not be giving me these vibrations with these traction bars even though I have um, these blocks did a little bit of research come to find out that my carrier bearing being up too high could be causing some vibrations so I decided what the heck I'm gonna put this carrier bearing drop kit on um, and see if that helps with the vibrations but let me show you what we're looking at for my suspension lift in the back so as you can see here, I have a seven inch block. And I know a lot of people don't like blocks, but let me tell you why I have that block. Cause honestly, I don't like blocks either. But I got these um, Deaver Springs when I did my first lift. These are five inch Deaver leaf, 10 leaf springs, which are pretty good. They actually made an eight inch spring back when I got it, but they discontinued that one because um, later on I wanted to buy it and, and I couldn't. So. I like those Deaver springs and I didn't want to buy new springs. So I ended up doing, going the easy route and getting the PMF lift blocks. And I figure I'm gonna change them out eventually someday, but right now they really don't bother me. And like I said, I put these um, traction bars on here, as you can see, and they're pretty sturdy. They're pretty sturdy. And I just got them bolted up to the frame right there. And those are PMF too. So what I'm working on is, you can see here, I got my, carrier bearing unbolted that's all i've done so far because like i said i wasn't actually going to videotape this but all i'm doing right now is taking out the old hardware so there's a little box i got up there so this little box right here a little drop bracket stock drop bracket i'm taking that out and i'm going to replace it with the pms version which i'll show you in a second so let me get back to this um and i'll show you what i'm working with okay so Here's the PMF unit. And basically what this does, is it gives you number one, more drop. It has much more drop than uh, even um, the carrier. I had carrier bearing drop plates in there that were like two inches. Uh, this gives you four inches of drop. And as you can see these slits, there's adjustability forward and backwards. And here is the plate where your, um, your carrier bearing will bolt onto this plate. And this plate has adjustability as well. So you can move this up, down, you can angle it up moving up and down so it's going to give you much more adjustability on where you can put your carrier bearing and i'll show you how that affects the drive line once i get it mounted up so i'm gonna go ahead and get to putting this on or finish taking the other old one off and then putting bolting this up and then we'll see um, once i get to the point where i can start adjusting it show you how that works That was the last boat. Just enough. See where this thing should be sitting at. Just move it to move it forward, backwards. Let's see where is that sitting at? Should be forward, I guess. 
And this is gonna have to go. Oh, that's a tight fit. That is a tight fit. properly but I'm just gonna try it so over here um, you can't really see down here but I'm trying to make sure that this angle um, of the bear carry bearing is kind of straight with the axle and it's kind of hard to see up close like I'll go back a tiny bit this angle and then take this back out so I can screw that in. That's what I'm about to do. First, I'm gonna get those bolted in. Up top, a little bit. This right here is facing in. If I have my finger there, it's, it's this way just a little bit too much. I'm gonna take this and take it back that way just a little bit. The camera is exaggerating. It's not that far off, but it is off a little bit. So I wanna see how hard it is for me to just loosen it and then adjust that. So let me try to do that and then I'll let you guys see if I got it straightened out. Okay, I'm back. That wasn't too bad. So I was able to get it. Let's see if you can see the difference. I mean, I'm gonna turn the camera this way, but you can kind of see now it's a little bit more in line, a little bit straighter with the axle or lined up with the axle. So what I'm gonna do now is go back through, tighten all the bolts down, and then take it for a test drive. So I will see you when I'm on the road, checking it out. All right, I am back. We are in the truck now. So let's see if this, uh, I got everything tightened up underneath. So we're gonna take a test drive and see if this carrier bearing drop um, helped with my vibrations. I really hope that this uh, helps with the vibration. It wasn't really bad, bad, but now that I got um, my engine right and I'm putting some power down, I just wanna be able to get on it with no vibrations. Cause I feel like that's putting too much pressure on my drive line and my U joints and things. Let's go. The next uh, project I'm going to be doing, just so you know, is the hydraulic uh, ram assist, PSC ram assist. Because these 40s. Uh, let's see. Oh. The vibrations. No. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. They're definitely better. It's definitely improved. Definitely improved. Oh, yeah. It's improved. I, I mean, like, is a that's a little tiny, tiny bit. But before it was, it was much more evident. Now it's much more improved. Much more improved. Uh, my son is calling me. Hold on. All right, sorry about that, guys. My son was calling me, interrupted my video because I'm using my phone right now, just making this quick video uh, with my phone. Um. So yeah, 
the vibrations definitely helped. I'm happy with it. That was worth the money. I think that drop, that carrier bearing drop is like, it's under $200. It's like 150, 170, something like that. I'm not sure, but it's definitely worth it. If you got, I mean, if when I, my truck was lifted like eight inches, I had the two inch um, shims, two inches worth of shims and that seemed to be fine. But all in all, I think this carrier bearing drop is better because you can adjust all the angles. So check it out. Um, I'm not sponsored by PMF. I'm not sponsored by nobody. I don't even have any subscribers on YouTube. I just put these videos out uh, to help people with six O's, you know, take it or leave it. This is a short video because when I went to put this carry bearing drop in, um, I didn't see any out. I didn't see any videos with good information. I even went to their site. Their site kind of shows some pictures, but um, anyway, if anybody decides to do it, you got this video to, video to reference and maybe you can do it easier than I did it and find a better way. But, uh, yeah, next next um, project, I'll be doing the Ram Assist. Like I was saying, I got that PSC Ram Assist. Uh, turning the 40 inch tires is like, kills your shoulders. I even have the um, upgraded redhead steering, the um, heavy duty one, and it's still tough. So when I, when I do that Ram um, Assist, I'll video that, and I'll show you um, the upgraded steering box, what that looks like, and the uh, Ram uh, Hydro Assist components that I got and that should be nice and then after that i think i'm just gonna be doing fuel system put an air dog and i i'm pretty much done this baby is is uh ready to rock and roll anyway just another short video it's your boy od from mad trucks i'm out